woke up. Um, kind of suddenly, I don't know why I woke up. Um, um, and my shipment should be here within the next two hours. And then I'm going to go have a dressing change. Because as a lot of people that I've spoken to said, it's not safe to have that amount of gauze. Um, especially when it's pressing on the stat lock and the incision they made. Um, so I'm a little nervous about, like, seeing what my arm looks like under the gauze, but it's not nervous, I'm just, like, interested to see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'm up, guys. I am, I am gonna edit the vlog, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, they sent my fluids, and that's it. They didn't send, um, any actual surprise, so I guess that is coming with the nurse that... that we don't know anything about. So basically the shipment was just three of these. I thought that you had to refrigerate these, but they actually... They actually don't say anything about refrigeration, so... Just keep these in my room. So I am covered. Um, this thing is still pretty tight on me because um, of how gigantic the gauze is, which you can actually see through it. Um, so yeah, we didn't get any other supplies, and um, that's going to come with the the home home nurse that hasn't been set up yet. So I'm just chilling without access to my line and any way to protect it because nobody does their job. <laughs> the story of being chronically ill is that. Um, it's just constant waiting. So, so say goodbye to the ugly dressing. So we're home. Um, and I got my cover on. And it feels a lot better. Um, it's so funny because the nurses were like, Oh my gosh, yes, that's a lot of guys. They, they probably thought you were going to bleed a lot. And that's why they put so much on. And um, so they took... They kept the stat lock on, they kept the bio patch on, and yeah. they um, they just changed the tape on the top. They put a new piece yeah. down so that there's no additional gauze. Um, the dressing did come with like a square, but it's like it covers it, but it's not gauze. But it, it, it like came on the tagaderm. I don't know. Um, so yeah, um, this is a lot more comfortable. I think I'm gonna still have to stretch out the. Um, just the top of this a little bit, just because the top is kind of tight on me. I'm just going to try to stretch out part of it. Um, I'm, I didn't get to edit the vlog before um, I left, but they told me there actually that it's disgusting that they haven't set up home nursing yet, and that we need to call every day until it's done. Um, so I'm going to have my mom call, because... I called on Monday, I called yesterday, and left an email, and they would call me back, and, um, I know that if everything's set up, a nurse can get out here really, really quickly, and that's the only way I'm gonna get my supplies. I only got, I only got the fluid bags, that's it. So, I was, had, had I gotten everything, I was going to talk to somebody and have somebody walk me through setting it up, um, because I need the fluids, that I think would help calm me down. But, um, I, you know, I just, uh, <laughs> we only had the fluids. We literally did not get any tubing. We got nothing else, so it's unfortunate. But, um, so I have to go see my grandma in a little bit, but I'm going to have my mom call the office <sighs> to see if they figure all this stupid stuff out, which is like not fair. And I have so many people DMing me on Instagram and contacting me and they're just like, I feel so bad for you. I can't believe that you're going through it like this. This isn't fair to you. And <sighs> I'm just really grateful for the support that um, 
you know, that, that I've been given. I'm really grateful. I've been in a horrible mood. I've been lashing out recently, um, but I am really grateful for the support. Um, so God willing, we get everything through today. Hey guys, so I just want to talk to you guys about a few things. Um, first and foremost, I need to give you an update. We talked to my doctor's office that's supposed to set up the home care and the home care company that they usually go through isn't taking any more referrals. And they're going to call to other places and see what's going on with that, but they said, we'll call you later today or tomorrow. But I've already had this, this is my third day. If it doesn't get done tomorrow, it's not gonna get done until next week, um, which is very unsafe. I'm very aware that the line I have, I, I believe, do not quote me on this, but I believe this is um, for infection risk and clot-wise, I believe this is the, clot-wise, actually, I think it's a port, but infection-wise, the pick is the most dangerous, and I have a double lumen, which is even more dangerous. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about was a few things. The first thing is that I have collected thoughts when I sit here and I talk to you guys and I explain to you guys what's going on. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm very raw because I try to be very raw and sometimes you'll see me crying or really down or getting really upset. Um, and I just wanted to say that I've been lashing out. I have been on edge. I have been freaking out. I have been panicking um, because all of this stuff wasn't set up before I got my line, which is scary. Um, I'm very afraid um, because I don't know what's going on. So although you know, like I'm able to sit here and have collected thoughts and speak to you guys. I just wanted to say that, you know, there is a side that like, you know, you guys don't see and that I'm really, you know, I'm struggling. And um, I mean, just basically that this stuff is hard. Like this is hard stuff to deal with. And it's difficult to not get upset with all of these like weird setbacks and situations that come up. So the next thing I want to say really quickly is that if you are coming from a similar place where you're not getting the correct treatment or the correct care by your doctor, by other medical staff, if anybody's making you feel bad or making it feel like it's your fault or whatever your situation is, I just want to sit and validate that whatever you're feeling is okay to feel. It is better to feel things, handle them, and let them pass than to suppress everything until everything bottles up and explodes. I'm coming from a very, very, very similar place, and I just want to validate whoever is feeling like this. I, I'm, we're dealing with this together. If you're dealing with anything that's similar to my situation, even if it's not doctors, if you're just talking about somebody else and you are upset, it's okay. I want to validate you guys. I want you guys to make sh like, I want to make sure that you guys know that it feels so isolating and alone, but you are not alone. Um, I'm going to go edit the vlog, but I really wanted to just talk to you guys and just bring that to light for a few minutes. Um, so yeah. I'm a human, I get upset, um, there's stuff obviously you guys don't see, and if you're going through anything that's even remotely similar, I'm here for you, and I'm, I'm walking with you. bracing myself on the wall. I really want to make a, a huge focus. Um, and I'm sorry, my hair is like everywhere. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, yeah, you guys see me when I wake up, like before I even get out of bed, so I really don't care. Um, but I do want to slowly, I, I try to incorporate non-medical stuff. I think it's really important. Um, to just document my experiences too in my life and 
you know, like a big thing that I realized when I started doing these vlogs is that it actually gave me a chance to look back at my day and reflect and be like, okay, well I did this, I did this, I did this, I got this done. Okay, today was a good day and it really, really, really has helped me a lot and that's a huge reason that I haven't really thought about stopping because I find it to be very, um, almost therapeutic in a way that I'm able to like really look back at my day and be grateful, you know, for whatever experiences I had. So I'm trying to slowly make um, things a little bit less medical. I want the focus to change a little bit. Although, I think the reason, the biggest reason I started this account is that I wanted to show a side of illness that people don't really see. And um, I was watching a vlog today or was it yesterday? I think I was watching it yesterday, actually. The Fry Life, they're extremely, extremely, um, not they're, they're not extremely YouTube famous, but they have like 140,000 subscribers. So, they, you know, they have a lot of, a lot of people that watch their videos. And, um, they, so the wife, she has cystic fibrosis. And one of the things she said was that she shows a lot of medical stuff in the sh in the videos that she does because she wants to reduce the stigma and get people used to seeing tubes and wa and you know if you're hooked up to wires or hooked up to machines she wants people to get used to that and i think that that's very important and i really wanted to convey that too i wanted you know to to say that like i i i do want my experiences to give either do I want I want two things the first thing is that I want people to feel less alone because I know through vlogs it has helped me immensely um, feel like I'm not alone in this and that I'm not the only one dealing with this additionally I did want people to to see what it actually is you know, that it's not just like laying in bed all day and going to doctor's appointments. And I really wanted to convey, you know, the, the, the seriousness in a way of it. And um, so that's a big reason I wanted to do this. And when she said it yesterday, it was like she put it into perfect words that, you know, like she wanted people to get used to this stuff so that people don't think so... Um, weirdly about these things and I completely agree and I think that's a very important thing so there's two funny thing or there's one update I want to give you and then one funny thing I want to show you guys sorry I just went on like a major major tangent okay so this is so cute it's from Amazon just like a regular box and I thought this was so cute um, it says place box on floor carefully place driver in box and make engine noises and I thought that was so so funny um, I know it's stupid but I just wanted to share it because I thought it was really cute and then the second thing I wanted to show you was an update on my blanket. So, um, this width-wise fits a twin-size bed. And just for point of reference, I'm five feet tall. So, I'm sitting like that. And it covers, like, I don't know, what, a half my body or something like that. The clouds look like, oh, ouch. Careful. <laughs> The clouds look like they're, I'm surprised my dad didn't see, like they're from an oil painting, they're so pretty. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day.